Um, happy Monday, everybody. Today we're going to be talking about if you are ever experiencing being told that you are too expressive when you act, right? So you're being told um, maybe to turn it down in casting or when you're on set or you're being told that you're too big. You're being told that you need to be more natural, that you need to be more you, that you need to be more subtle do less and you might hear this from casting director you might hear this from directors themselves when you're shooting or you might be hearing this from an acting teacher right from a peer in a scene which is really really spicy to hear so <clears throat> i know that that's very uncomfortable uncomfortable feedback to to hear and you you might have been feeling that it really stings your ego and it's really uh, yeah, it's very uncomfortable to hear that people think you're doing too much, that you're too big, uh, that you should be natural. Um, and so um, you may have tried things, you may have tried to turn it down, you may have tried new acting classes, new methods, new techniques, new teachers, you may have read books, you may have, you know, prepared a little less, you may have tried a bunch of things and yet you're still getting that feedback, so it's still very uncomfortable. And I think it's going to be a very short live because I would like to ask you a question, and I think there's two possible answers to that question. I would like to ask you, how do you feel when you're acting? How do you feel when you're acting? And if you're in the live, you can answer in here. If you're watching this in the recorded version, you can answer in the comments too. How do you feel when you're acting? Do you feel that you're pushing a little bit, that there's force in there, that there's a little bit of hard work? Or do you really feel like you're not pushing at all? And the bigness of what is moving through you, the big energy, the big emotions, is your truth. And it's very natural to you and there's actually no other way for you to do it. Um, so depending on that, I'm not seeing any answers there. I'm seeing some yes, some top of the world, some things, but not some answers. So if you're feeling that you are somewhat pushing when you're acting, you may also feel uncomfortable when you're acting. It's not flowing. You don't feel completely free. You don't feel high. There's something that's being forced. There's some efforting in there. There's a little bit of working hard. And therefore, it's not comfortable for you. You don't leave a day on a set feeling resourced, rejuvenated, super excited, wanting more, you feel drained because you've worked hard, because you've pushed all day, you've worked hard to get to those big emotions and it's depleting you, it's leaking your energy. And so the if you're in this category of actually noticing or just now by, you know, contemplating this idea, you may be just now noticing, oh yeah, I am pushing. That's what's happening. I'm pushing for emotion. There's no flow in it. I, I need to do an extra thing, an extra push on it, an extra energy on it to get to the emotions that I feel are expected of me. So if, um, if you're there and if you're noticing that, I would start asking yourself why do you think you need to do that? What's preventing you from actually just being truthful, just being with what you're sensing in the moment? What makes you push? What makes you do that extra work that um, you feel, yeah, you can't just be with your truth? What's preventing that, right? So that would be my first question. And let's see. Um, Tom is answering and okay I'm gonna read your answers Brandon I feel like I'm pushing I'm usually too worried about my lines yes you could be worried about your lines Brandon you could be worried about the expected type of texture of emotion that you think the director wants or the casting director wants um, okay great uh, Tom is saying film last night and it felt very free free of judgment free of my contrived process etc I definitely feel a high off of afterwards so it doesn't sound like your people are telling you that your performance is too expressive Karina saying often feel uncomfortable um, checking myself all the time yeah 
uh, use a rope analogy prior to shooting the last two times I had to act in front of new co-stars and director co-stars and director that visual helps me immensely felt very honest oh okay problem the root problem is under the pushing right so what we do in the reset journey from resistance to freedom which is the journey that people um, start within in our community is we do the work of actually looking and lifting the stones and the blocks and the tensions to look at what's underneath what is the root cause of you having a mask a coping mechanism some tricks Anything that's not authentic, anything that's not freely you, freely, truthfully you. So we, we do that work of diving inside of your instrument and, and really so that you can see, oh, what, what is going on? What, what, what architecture have I built around the problems inside of me so that I can navigate without being afraid, with looking good, with looking confident? Like it's all coping mechanism, right? And until you move through those coping mechanisms and into the roots of why you're doing the things and why you're afraid to just be you, then you're constantly going to fake, push, pretend. And it's going to be kind of sticky and icky to you. And of course, the receiver, the casting director, the director, the audience, the, your colleagues, your you know, um, other actors or teachers will tell you that's too much. Don't push. But the stopping to push is not the solution to the problem. You're getting right. You're getting that right because the pushing is only again a consequence of the actual problem, which is you can't be with your truth. And the reason you can't be with your truth is because you've been raised to not be with your truth. You've been programmed, wired, educated to behave to not listen to your instinct, to not be impulsive, to not cry in front of people, to not be angry or even share about being angry because it's all wrong. All these emotions are wrong, right? So you've learned to put a lid on your truth since you were very little. And so inevitably, if you haven't looked at that lid, if you haven't you know, lifted it up to look what's underneath, you're ending up being in an instrument you know, behavior that can't be with what is. And so you have to push something else in front of it. You have to create a mask in front of it. You have to pretend, you have to fake, you have to push, you have to produce emotion. And when you're producing, you're not with your truth, right? So the other option, so that was the option if, if you are feeling that you're too much, that you're pushing. If you are feeling that, then yeah, it's, it's all in your responsibility to actually look through that because it's only a coping mechanism and you can work through it. And if you need help with that, you let us know. We can send you some free resources. If you want to go all the way, let us know. We can, we can let you how we work. We are actually at the end of a challenge. I think we're closing the cart tomorrow or Wednesday. There's still a hundred dollars off um, until the cart closes, which is again tomorrow or Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. No, let's say tomorrow. Just be safe. So if you're resonating with this and you want to reset yourself and you want to, you know, get to the bottom of who you truly are, because what else is there? And you want to be free when you're truthful. Then now's the time to save some money. The other option is when you're acting, you're not feeling that you're pushing, you are in your truth. And the bigness of who you are is the truth. It's just your natural way of being. So there's one actor that I'm thinking of right now, and of course I'm blanking on his name. We all know him. Crazy, cuckoo, wonderful actor. Jack Nicholson comes to mind, but there's someone even more graphic, if anyone remembers. Crazy. Wonderful. He did the mask. He did so many things. I'm sure someone will drop their name in here. Um, so if, if being big is your truth and your uniqueness, 
then you want to double down on that. You want to continue honoring yourself and not regard or not listen to the feedback you're getting, which may be it's too much and it may be too much for some people. Jim Carrey, thank you. Um, I don't know your name. It says Act 70, but thank you, Act 70. Thank you, Treville. Um, so there's nothing that's ever going to be wrong about you if it's truthful. So say you're as big as Jim Carrey, and that comes from a place of truth, like there's nothing else but that in you. It's a vor voracious zest and taste for life. Great. And as usual, when you're truthful and you're an artist, some people will love it, some people won't. But if you're pushing to make up for something that's not truthful, then you fall in the category of, well, great feedback that you got it's if it's going to lead you to doing the work inside of you it's not about adjusting your bigness in that case because you are not truthful it's about doing the work of actually going inside and seeing why can't you just be with your truth and let's get that truth back right if you are naturally big great people will say things about you all the time the bigger your career the more people will criticize right? In any discipline. So that won't matter to you if you're getting that feedback, because if it's your core, your truth, your whole you, and there's nothing else that you could possibly do than be your true self, then, you know, you just let them talk and you keep doing what you do. You do you, right? So I hope that was helpful, guys. I hope that it's giving you some clarity. Um, and then, yeah, check in with yourself. How do you feel when you're acting? Because the feedback won't matter if it's um, if you're in a place of truth, the feedback will matter if you're not truthful because then all your attention is on what do other people think. When you're in your truth, you don't care about what people think. You don't care about pleasing them. You don't care about looking good. You're in your truth. There's nothing else you could do. When you're not in your truth, that's when you care. That's when like, oh, what are they gonna say? Because your cup is empty, so you're looking for external validation. You're not self-validated. Um, yeah, yeah, trivial. All right, you guys. Well, again, I just want to make sure that everyone's clear on the fact that we're closing the cart tomorrow for the reset journey from resistance to freedom. Um, so we are at the last day or so of, um, the challenge. If you are wanting to get, um, completely free, completely reset, completely in your truth, in 33 days using all this yummy time that you have in the summer to actually reset yourself, be the true version, the unique version, the only version of what you truly are. Well, now's the time because you can save some money. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, let us know, send us a DM and we'll make sure that we can send you the information. All right. Thank you. Bye.